Yo, yo. Mmm. Man. Here we are. You can tell by the title. We're doing the first mods to the 8Y S3. Um, that sounded really dumb when I said that. Uh, and I saw some threads today of people shitting on this car. It made me upset. I really like it. I honestly really do. The, the biggest thing I don't like so far, I think, is the steering wheel. Like, it's hard. Like, it's not like a soft leather. leather. It's hard, and it's not flat bottom. So, I think... I'm going to hit up the guy I got the steering wheel for for my Mark 7 and see what I can get done for this. It's a little bit thicker on the sides, like some softer, you know, whatever. But um, we're going to do some baby mods for it. I actually ordered like some real parts today. Uh, well, kind of. Um, you guys could probably definitely guess what that's going to be. But uh, I got a few things here sitting from the last car we can throw on. Actually, well, we got a lot of things sitting around that can go on. I need to clean these up. I got the... This is not going on today, by the way, but uh, once some of the other parts get here, we'll clean these up, get the 034 stuff in, these end links, these end links, this sway bar. We'll, we'll get all that on the car. I'm still trying to find somebody to buy this Halbex, but uh, for the very moment, we got some caps. I need to bring home tools tomorrow so I can do uh, the racing line, oil cap, and then... I need to bring home tools to try. I want to test fit this R600 or R400. Yeah, R600 intake and the tube. See if that fits. Um, it should, but I'm just not sure. And uh, like well now on on the the Mark 8 GTI is the same as the Mark 7, but the Mark 8 Golf R and the S3. The diverter valve is relocated to the throttle body down here to help with throttle response and that dumps into the inlet up here. The inlet is really small. Uh, sorry, I got terrible lighting, but it's down in there. But I think the hose and the intake will just fit right in there. I have the coolant hose too that could work, I think. Well, actually, where does this tie in? It might, it might actually work. There's two different versions on Racing Line site. I don't see why the one I have wouldn't work, but uh, I'm my buddy, Sean of It's Not Stock LLC. They are, he's messaging them and figuring out what the difference is between some things. But for now, this very moment, we got the R8 coolant cap, the racing line fuel cap, and then the racing line brake reservoir cap. The small things, nothing big. Um, we'll see how it changes. So I'll go from this to boom. Much better in there. And we'll swap this one out real quick. Boom. All right. Now, actually, I don't know which one looks better. Well, let me know what you think about the coolant cap. We haven't looked better on my Mark 8 or my Mark 7, but... Hmm. Now for the fuel cap. Boom. There we go. First, uh, first mods, if you, if you count it. Um, I mean, whatever. It's just stuff I had laying around. Don't cost me nothing. I like the billet stuff. Um... Yeah, we'll get this. I need to read up on the internal of this because I know the new versions aren't like this. So I might have to pop this whole assembly out. I'm not sure. We'll have to look and see if the part numbers are the same just to double check that that will fit. I think this plunger you just got to take out from the new one. So we'll figure that out tomorrow. I'll bring home a couple tools. We'll get the old filter off and then uh, the intake and stuff. And we can go from there. I said I got some parts on the way. We'll see, but uh, the journey begins. <laughs> see you tomorrow. All right, so <clears throat> here we are a couple days later. Make sure my name's not on here. Uh, we got some boxes, we got some springs, we got a dipstick, we got uh, mag plugs for the Haldex and the diff. Shout out to It's Not Stock LLC. Uh, Sean over there, really hooking it up. As soon as the oil cap comes available and I'll probably just get the washer cap for now because they're probably not going to be a catch can or anything out for this for a while anyway it's on this side so i got room over here actually not really because the headlight kind of sits back but we'll see uh for now uh, i'll probably order it just to have it and then get rid of it if i need to in the future we'll see but um well i had got confirmed from racing line thanks to sean um that the the can't even talk today the intake 
hits some charge pipes down here and that's why these don't fit. Um, so they, they're remolding the intakes so that they will fit. So still trying to get rid of this one. I don't want to ship it. If you're anywhere between here and like Pennsylvania and you want this, let me know. But uh, we're going to unbox this here stuff and uh, show it to you. All right. Got some, these are like grayish, like green almost, like a hint of green in the gray. But uh, we got our springs here. Did I mention this stuff came in two days? Today is Thursday, I ordered it Tuesday. So we got the dipstick, which I already had and sold to my buddy Rob, but oh well. Got a new one. We got the, um, this is for the Haldex. We got the mag plugs there. I think this is just a regular plug. No, it is magnetic. Uh, washers for when you change it, and this is for the diff. Boom, more wash. Okay, nope, there's another one in there. Doesn't want to come out. I guess this comes with them for all the diffs for both front, rear, and Haldex. Bang. Okay, okay, this is the actual drain plug. So, drain, fill, drain, fill. That's what it is. So, this is stuff for the rear, I'm assuming. This is for the rear. We'll have to double check, but boom, it's there. Boom, and we actually, I went up in the attic, found my draggy box. Um, they come with the spare magnet thing, so I can put this in the armrest. Check, I'm gonna charge the draggy up tonight, hopefully this weekend, get some like pools and stuff. Like I said, I'm going up to Pennsylvania, so I'll have my brother like drive the car or record, or we'll take turns and we'll get some nice scenery going and do some, some fun stuff. And then I still need to bring, I'm gonna bring a bunch of tools home tomorrow and then we'll get the, uh, the oil filter in as well. Springs, this is my only weekend off for like the next, I don't know how freaking long, so I don't know when I'll get these in. Plus, I don't even know if they can align this thing yet, or if I can align it yet, with how new it is and uh, recalibrating the ACC sensor. So, I need to figure out that, but yeah, let's get this dipstick in and uh, uh, get this little guy in so we can go charge and do things later, but got some things. I'm also looking at a rear diffuser, some skirts, and a lip. No one, I cannot find a trunk spoiler anywhere. Only one company I can find, and it's carbon. I don't want carbon, I just want piano black, so. I'm looking at some little aesthetics here and there. Really, I don't think the car even really needs anything. I really like the way the lips look on this. I might as well get the skirts, and then the diffuser in the back. I'm parked really close to the garage, but. Only thing about the back end that I don't like is right above the diffuser you have this which you can't even see. Yeah, like this fake honeycomb stuff. That The diffuser I want gets rid of this and it's a whole new diffuser down there. So um, I think the whole rear end would look a lot smoother with that. But um, yeah, we need to look up and see if we can get that strut brace from uh, Eurocode and yeah. I'm just excited. Really excited to get you guys some runs. I'll, I really think this car will move, like really move um, stock compared to the last A3, S3, whatever you want to call it. And then with a tune, dang, yeah, this thing is going to be a lot of fun. Even putting this thing in sport mode and like ripping it into a turn, like going from like a like two lane crossing into like a parking lot, just giving it some oomph and, and some, it just feels so good. Like the rear end just feels like it wants to like give you the beans if there wasn't traffic and I could turn traction off and all that in the morning like where I do that at it would be really nice to see but hopefully we can find somewhere this weekend out in Pennsylvania and we can really rip on the car some so yeah sorry I'm rambling I'm excited <laughs> ladies and gentlemen if it would freaking focus come on what's going on is that my eyes or is it the camera holy crap there we go so um I already loaded up the car we got the Kirkies in the back. We got the Clutch Masters, thrall bearing and bleeder block and the lightweight battery. I got the Kirky strapped in back here. First road trip, kind of, with the car, except for when I brought it back, got the other stuff down here. Making a stop in Gaithersburg. The guy that bought my hatch is also buying the battery and he also bought my wheels. Um, and we're going up to Harrisburg from there. My buddy, Patrick, Lala, you guys might know Papa. Is it Lala, Papa, Papa? Papa M MK7 on Instagram. His boy with a TTRS is buying these cookies. So we're gonna go up to Harrisburg, meet with them, then I gotta backtrack like an hour and some change to get back 
to my dad. So I've got a bunch of shit to sell and things to do and that'll turn into more car parts. Um, I didn't get a chance to put the oil housing on. I took the, the middle section out. Like I said, like there's two different versions or whatever, but I need to clean it out. So um, yeah, that needs to happen. But for now, I'm gonna connect the GPS and we got like at least three or so hours. I haven't had dinner yet, barely had lunch. So stop in Gaithersburg, sell this stuff, get some food and complete our drive. Grab a Red Bull. Look at this thing when it starts up. I love it. Mm. I don't know if I showed you guys. I changed the view that I use. So this is what I've been using daily now. And uh, you can make it bigger. So instead of like the other. I'm get myself in trouble. We got some logic going. Yeah. All right. Let's hit it. Woo! Uh, averaging. 33.7, it was up to 34 earlier. We're out here just jamming out. Letting the car pretty much drive itself. No races yet tonight. Well, we just got to my favorite gas station, Sheets. Uh, got the Kirkies in the back there. I just undid the, whatchamacallit, ratchet trap. They saw me like pull in. I don't even think they realized it was me in this car. So I haven't told really anybody about the car yet. If you follow me on social media, you know I'm just kind of teasing it. So there's a couple people that did guess it, but uh, obviously I didn't tell them. A lot of people think it's the Mark 8R because I keep posting pictures of the um, screens and stuff. They're like, it's got to be the Mark 8. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but uh, I was hoping this car would move so I could park right beside him, make it a little bit easier. But we're going to have to move somewhere else. And I got to pee bad. And it's like 52 degrees out. It is chilly. Burr. Mm. All right. Well, I gotta move my car, I guess. Actually, no. I'm gonna leave it here and go pee. Oh, let me, oh you want a thumbnail? <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. This is, this is Patrick. Here we go. We're gonna get a little thumbnail here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna be on camera? What's up, guys? You got a TTRS, just bought the seats. We're out in, I don't even know where the hell, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. That's in. Got the seats in there. Real nice, thick boy. I like that. And we out here. About to eat, finally. It's midnight. What? That scoop, that little oh yeah, I just, that's my favorite thing about right, the front is that little scoop. And, like some of them don't even come blacked out. They have like chrome along all the little honeycomb and like this is chrome and that's chrome. Really? So this is a blackout yeah. package? I'm going to take the S3 stuff off of it. But yeah, I would too. Fuck it. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Some lip. Well, you guys can't see the Speedo and that's probably a good thing, but... You know, obviously this car is stock. It's got 767 miles on it now. And we're about to go take a blast through the mountains. Gonna let my brother here drive. I'll pull out the other camera. We're on the GoPro right now. But, man, this thing just... I really like it. it shifts so damn fast. And the brakes are really good. Like, really good. Should have downshifted there. Go up through the mountains, get some uh, some video with all the colorful trees and shit. Man, this thing is gonna be a ton of fun. I think I'm freaking my brother out a little bit. Tensing up. Wow. <laughs> shifting and you hit downshift it downshifts to the lowest gear possible which I think is pretty damn neat I don't know if you guys can hear 
or anything, but. Mm. Mm -hmm. We are taking a pit stop, trying to get some pictures. We just found like a random trail. I don't know. You ever been on the vlog? Uh, I don't know. Do you look alike? Yeah. I think you have. Getting a little dirty out here, but. Mm -hmm. Good. This car is a lot of fun. A lot. Carl's going to drive us back up and over the mountain. See how he likes it. I'm trying to get some pictures here. Not as colorful as I wanted it to be, but. Should have brought my GoPro thing. I can stick it on the outside. down the mountain after going through uh, the most racist town around here can't really do much going down looks like a little more wet there should be a nice drop-off spot down here we'll be able to get some pictures maybe some flybys Dude, hear the pops in the exhaust yeah it's actually popping back here wow Get that uh, resonator delete order. We can actually able to hear this thing. Hear it? It's like the mini doing its little pops. I haven't seen the traction control like kick on yet either. So it's like... It wants to hug the road. It feels good.
ですよ、えーWe are back home from selling parts and hanging out with my brother for his 18th birthday. Here's a little pup date, boys. Oh, come on, I know you guys want to be on camera. Yeah, yeah you do, Apex boy. Can, can you, ah, ah, ah. Okay, there you go. Can you sit? Sit for me. Sit, shake. Good boy. Other ball? Good boy. Lay down? No, we're not going outside. Lay down. Lay down. Can I see your belly? Can I see your belly? Let me see your belly. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Can I get a shake, JC? Other paw? Other paw. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Sit. Other paw. Other paw. Boy. Other paw. There you go. That's a good boy. I love you. Okay, you want to go outside? You guys want to go outside? Okay, let's go. There she is. Let me see that belly. How many weeks? 26? And you're done. Anyway, so I wanted to show you guys this. Um, this is the OE filter. It's like basically the same thing, you know, as we know. That didn't change at all. And then you just, I put two fingers in here and then just push it to the side. And this is what popped out. And this will pop right into the new one. It's got little fingers down in there, as you can see. Little fingers. This one has the plunger like I was talking about. My old one had like, it was attached to this, so. Two different styles, just gotta figure out which one you want. I think everything new is this style, so. Just so you know. We're gonna pop that on. And uh, I think we just hit like 1,100 miles. So I think this week I'll do an oil change, get a fresh filter in there. And then from there I'll do them every 5,000. I'll do it again at 5,000. And then every 5,000 from there. I'll probably do trans every 10 or 15. Haldex every probably 20. I think they call for 50 on that. So definitely stay up early on maintenance. I'd really like to pop these guys out on the cover. Change those to like white or blue. Maybe paint them. I definitely, oh, I put my EQT uh, plate on there. Boom, shout out to my boys. And then I only had one EQT plate. So I, uh, this one matches better on the back anyway. So we got the, the shop dap on the back. I think the red goes with the red and the tail lights and all that, so. Digging it. Oh, well yeah, I wanna get these black. Probably plastic dip those. You can't, the lighting I'm in right now kinda sucks. Plasti dip them black to kinda be like matte black like the, the vents and stuff. And then the diffuser I want, we'll get rid of this right here, so. Probably order up the diffuser and the, um, Resin air delete here soon. But let's get this filter housing back on. Now it kind of does look out of place because heat's already gotten to it and it's got a couple scratches on it, but whatever. Spent a pretty penny on that thing, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> well, guys, I think that's about the end to this video. We did new tensioners and belts on the M3 today. Got uh, EGR clean and some 
nasty pipe that gets all backed up in there and the math oil change she did her brakes yesterday six months pregnant she's out here climbing all over the motor doing her brakes i wasn't even in town yesterday she sat out here did her brakes just uh washed the car real nice she got all dirty from all the rain and grime this weekend nice and clean i'm on the search for wheels let me know if you guys can think of any wheels that would look really good on here i'm looking for some 18s preferably black um lightweight is always you know numero uno with some good looking something that'll match these body lines you know something that's not going to be like my old wheels on my golf that didn't match didn't look very well they just were all you know just for performance but i want something that's going to match this body for this car it deserves it it looks really good these wheels just don't do it justice so i need something that's gonna spice this baby up she's looking real hot man i'm still torn on the diffuser if i'm gonna get it or not but it's good i don't know did i show you guys this you can like wave your foot under oh of course it don't want to work now oh there we go it'll open for you <laughs> it's kind of neat anyway um that's all i got make sure you guys drop a thumbs up let me know about wheels let me know what you guys think about the car don't be hateful in the comments be nice uh hopefully oh i read the obd 11 they're gonna be able to have this unlocked here soon i think they said mid like november 11th ish somewhere like mid november they'll have everything all the apis they need so we can do coding on this so uh that's like the first step to people getting the ecus unlocked getting the apis and all that shit hopefully so maybe by by springtime by race season we'll be able to get a tune on this that isn't like a jb4 or something so i don't know i'm in love that's all i gotta say so we'll be looking out for the next video we're gonna do some draggy runs and uh some flybys and all that jazz so be on the lookout for that thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the flip flop